Boom, bam. Hello. Hey, guys. Little Jack Lope of the Amateur Sleuths Vlog today here with... Tess. That was quite a spiel. I was just getting so fast with saying it. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. I know. Like a tongue twister, kind of. Yes, yes. Uh, we are on the finale of playing Nancy Drew's Secret of the Old Clock. Yes. This is the anniversary edition because tomorrow, Saturday, April 28th, in 1930 is when the first Nancy Drew book was released. Mm hmm that was, and this game is based on the first four books, loosely. Yeah. So that's why we're in celebration with playing this game, because it also takes place in the 1930s, mm -hmm. um, which is also really cool. Hello, you guys. Yes. Glad to see you back. Hi. Uh, we are giving away some prizes today. Yes, we are. Uh, four mugs today. Mm -hmm. And today's going to be a little bit different, just a little bit. Uh, throughout today's stream, we're going to randomly announce just three winners, because we're just going to randomly pick. Mm-hmm. Three lucky winners. Yes. Now there will be a trivia challenge. Um, we are going to break for fifteen, for fifteen, for five minutes. <laughs> um, but stay, stick around uh, during that because today's gameplay is going to go through really fast. Uh -huh. So we're going to have a pretty short stream today. I'm going to try to stretch it out with a little bit of uh, golfing and a <laughs> few pictures that we have of reference for when we made this game. So we were looking at some old 1930s photos to make some of the elements in this game. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be fun. Yes. Um, and hi, Coco Kringle Cat. I'm sorry you have to leave in 15 minutes, but but thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. So. And uh, I am on Nanteshi. I'm sorry, I keep saying that wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Hope you feel better. Oh no. Uh, we are playing a drinking game just for fun though. Yes, we are. Tell us what the drinking word is. The drinking word is what it has been for the past three sessions, which is Josiah Crowley. So if you hear Josiah or Crowley or Josiah Crowley, any combination of that, you take a drink. And that's if you see it, if you see someone say it, if you, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. Anytime that comes up, then you take a drink of whatever beverage you would like. What you got today? I have an iced mocha. Ooh. Iced mocha. Yes, I do, with whipped cream. Nice. The what do cream. you have? I like whipped cream. Whipped cream is my favorite part. I just need it is really cream. good. So I kind of came up with my own concoction. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you the revised version, which is better, <laughs> because mine turned out really sweet. Uh, mine's a, uh, the Starbucks strawberry cream frappuccino. There's no coffee in it. It's just a blended strawberry frozen drink. Um, but add, if you're going to go and order this, add a little bit of caramel drizzle to mm -hmm. the top. Because I call that combination a strawberry blonde, a.k.a. a Nancy Drew. Hey. And it's really sweet, <laughs> just FYI, because they're just standardly sweet. Mm -hmm. And any other, yeah, any extra sugar that you add to it is just going to be... Oh, boy. If you, if you have to do, like, a quick burst of energy, then that's the drink for you. Uh-huh. But I'll drink it fast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's just caramel drizzle on top of a strawberry cream frappuccino, the strawberry blonde. <laughs> Memory, shameless Starbucks promotion. Yeah, I know, pretty much. shameless Starbucks promotion. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Maybe someday they'll sponsor it. No, I'm just kidding. That, well, there is a place on the Starbucks website where you can submit the ideas <sighs> for concoctions. <gasps> we should totally do Nancy Drew theme. Well, I was trying to find. I was trying. I was hoping that they would have like a lemon syrup flavor to add into the strawberries would be like a strawberry kind of lemonade oh. kind of thing. Oh, That could be kind of Probably good. just do the tea version. Probably. Just do a strawberry lemonade tea. But then that's just strawberry lemonade. Yeah. And tea. But it's also tea. Yeah. So. <laughs> but I was looking at the list of their year-long flavors and uh, caramel was one of them so I'm like, that's kind of blondish color. Mm -hmm. Caramel and strawberry, not bad. Yeah. Strawberry blonde. It looks looks more natural. I feel like ca like caramel is a little bit more natural of a hair color. Yes. Like, I don't know. Yes, but because of Nancy's hair color. So the, um, just so you guys know, um, so yeah, there are no keywords today. No. And there will be, sorry, um, and yeah, we, we did mention this before, but that's okay. For those of you who are just joining, um, we don't have any keywords. We do have a trivia question, and we have three random winners. So we'll randomly picked throughout today's stream, if not at the end. Oh, and Spader, <coughs> would it be a Nance T. Drew? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's great. Um, shall we get into playing the I game? Think we shall. Oh. oh, and don't give out any spoilers, you guys. We're getting really close to spoiler time. Yes. And please keep the chat level to a family-friendly rating. So for all of our younger viewers for this. Yes, 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 yes. All right. 
Perfect. So let's go. Let's go. What's up? I need to switch that. <laughs> oh no! What? Uh, ah, I need oh, my monitor no. back. No, oh, my monitor just crashed. It'll come back. It'll be fine. That's okay. Everything is still recording. Everything else is still working. Yeah. yeah. So that is goodness. We are intellectually above average. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Topham, for confirming that. <laughs> okay. Um, we were doing. Yeah, we 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 found um, what's what's um, what's her face, <coughs> Gloria. Yes, we got Gloria information. Uh, uh wait, who's bot? Uh, bottom was um, uh, was Josiah, yeah. Bottom. Did we write that down? Was that Josiah? Or was that Gloria? Well, we have the we have the symbols for bottom. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh, because I did that thing. Okay, yeah, so yeah, kitty cat. Yeah. Yep, cat, and then cat face with the weird unibrow. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the X zero. Oh, yeah. that. And then two lines. But we were missing. Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, never mind. Yay! What? Your goal is to reach the end of the path and to land exactly on the last spot on the board. No going over. Each card can only be used once. You do not need to use all of the cards. Cool. To take a shortcut, you must be on a spot with a picture on it and use the same picture to take the pathway. Good luck. Cool. Oh boy, it's like Candyland. I know. <laughs> That's like exactly the board game that came to mind too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm just what playing by myself. Um, one, two, three, I guess four. I feel like that'd be a boring board game. It's like I wonder who's gonna win. Is it gonna be me or is it gonna be me? Right. I don't know. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. What were your guys' eight. favorite board games growing up? Did you play like Candyland or Shoots and Ladders or Life or anything like that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's um, let's do that. It's a good idea to use the um, these the simple or early because you don't want to take the back roads route. So oh. like ten, this this was a back roads route. This king is a back roads route. The star is and the heart is our back backwards oh. options. So I want to take the uh, shortcut here for two Lova. Perfect. Dragon Claw Gamer, welcome! One, Thank two, you for joining three, us. Ooh. Dear. Ooh, yeah, Life and Clue, Monopoly. Nice. Apples to Apples, that's a fun game. I love that game. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Is there a sunshine? Yes. Let's take the six. So that we can take the seven. Hey! One, two, three. Oh, but we have to ex land exactly. So oh, no. one, two, three, four. We're gonna need that four for later, so we can't use this. So let's oh. just go ahead and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Um. Uh, I think I lost. <laughs> well, well. Okay, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Or, wait, 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 yeah. One, two, three. Okay, we'll use a three, and then the four. But then we'd have to use a four again, and we only have one and eight. Let's just play it out, because I don't think there are too many options. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Uh -oh. I'm not gonna win. Oh, no! <coughs> oh, no! Yay. Yeah, we well, lost. That's okay. This is like math. <laughs> But terrible. <laughs> I thought we were playing a game. <clears throat> what is this? Let's let's count backwards. Oh, okay, that's so a good idea. If we end up using this, mm -hmm. we can't do a four unless we had. We get okay. Yeah. So we have to use a four mm -hmm. to cross here. One, two, three, four. So we'd have to use these two right here okay. to cross, which means do not use this. Okay. Path. All right. Okay. That's going to be our plan. Do not right. use that. And since we won't be using this or this or this early on so let's go ahead and use these to yeah. our advantage right and um think backwards think backwards so we're gonna go ahead and use this nine shortcut path mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and use this is that path four, one two three you're right that unless we do one oh we're three. not gonna we're not gonna use oh wait wait what no wait if we get um well, let's just let's just let's just do this Huh. Let's do something here. We'll just um, make things crazy. No. 
You didn't know. A snowflake. Um. Do the snowflake. There you go. That's fine. Um. Let's see. Yeah, give give LJ some some purple hearts in the chat one, feed two, to cheer three, her on. Four, five. Cause math is oh, hard. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, that's wait. Not the right numbers. Let's see. Who knows what the number combination is for this puzzle? <laughs> Go ahead and put it in the stream, in, in the chat. <laughs> Along with the hearts. Don't use the nine shortcut because the nine shortcut skips the seven. Oh. Mmm. Okay. So let's use this shortcut. Oh, perfect. Maybe. So One, is that two, five? Three, four, five. Yeah, let's do the five. Dee -dee -dee -dee. And then we use the two. Wait, can you write down the number yes. choices I'm doing? Okay. So 10 and then 5. 10 and 5. 2. 2. Two, three, four, five. Oh, not use the diamond. Wait. Not use the diamond? What? Okay, wait, it was 10, 5, 2. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we're not going to be using that then. Okay. Let's go ahead and use a butterfly then. All right. So nine. So nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do six. Six. Okay. Oh, we can't use that shortcut. Oh. Oh, well, are you sure? Because there's seven. Oh, we did. We did have it. Okay. <gasps> Yay. One, two, three. Okay, great. Yes. 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 Ye oh shoot. Shoots and letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I failed. Oh no! Okay, well that's okay. Now, now we know. Oh, there's answers here. There I'm, I'm, I'm using your guys' answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four, eight. Okay, so we're using that shortcut. Then we're doing ten. To, oh, okay, I like that. Oh. Um, and then you're saying six? Okay. Okay, I'll try that. And then one. Sure, we'll use that shortcut. And then you say seven. Sure. Cool. And, and two. Two. Then nine. And then three. <gasps> and then three. It works, it works. Thank you. Yay. Thanks, you guys. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. What? Whoa. No. It's alive. Okay. <laughs> and we got a new golf ball. Actually, what is that? Take this to Tiny Town, and for oodles of fun, use it there to hit a hole in one. <gasps> Is it a golf ball? A golf ball. Yeah! No, need to be used on that golf course of Josiah's. Josiah's. Oh, Josiah's, take a drink. Whoop. Woot. When we run out of games, you guys, hopefully there will be a new one by then. I know. I'm so excited. But I also want to collect all the ponies, you guys. We should. Aren't there multiple colors of them, too? Mm-hmm. I think there's five total. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think there's five ponies. Is that correct? I wonder if we get something at the end if we collect all of them. Like an, any sort of reward. Wait, did I pass it already? I, I did. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to go right at the fork. I can't see that fork. <laughs> okay. I only have so many bikes. <laughs> How many ponies? I got two? Oh, boy. This is going to take a lot of money. Well, that's okay. We have, I think, what is it, like, 20 cents? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> let's see. Yes. I want to use my regular golf ball because I just want to play regular golf because I want all the bodies. <laughs> we don't want anything else yet. Oh. Aww. It's making me do the thing. Well, fine. Okay. What? Well, that's Ooh, really cool. cool. Oh wow, it just threw it perfect aim and everything. Ooh. A hole in a wall at Tiny Town. <gasps> what is this? A rock opened up. Another safe deposit box key? Woo! Wow. I wanted to play golf. <laughs> I don't need two scorecards. Oh, we can go back can in. Can I go play? back in? Okay. Yeah! So, okay, so we get to start at the very beginning. Okay, great. We'll score. Golf. <coughs> no, golf is awesome. Is oh cool? yeah, we can also do telegrams and stuff too. Uh, so yeah. Anyone yeah. else that we haven't delivered to? Oh. I always, always do that. I know. 
do 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 do. Because it's just at a weird enough angle to where it's like, if you hit it just wrong. Whoa! That was close. There we go. Yeah, oh, this is the worst one I'm <laughs> Not very good at this one. <laughs> oh, I know, bad shot. No, but you're still under par, right? Do the tiki hole. Yeah, whoever is saying the soundtrack is awesome, I completely agree. Because it's just so happy. Yeah, we got to watch this fun animation. Oh, that's right, we get to announce what the next game is in the next stream, huh? True. See, what's the month today? Or oh, today's, today's April. April. Oh, okay. I know which one is next. Today's all of April. All of April. <laughs> thank you, Miss. Uh, I can't read your name. Sorry, it's really. It's Miss really Madison hard. Caitlin. Yes, Miss Madison. Thank you. thank you. I like it too. And it's like the nice thing is that it's actually like thicker. It's thicker. Yeah. And so oh, it's like yeah. it's the it's hardier material, you know. Yeah. Like a lot of times when I see the like flannel stuff for women in. In like department stores or whatever, you know, it's like super thin, and you're like, "What is this? That is Oops. whoa, that was cool." But but yes, yeah, so I know I've got one of those those kind of shirts. Yeah, and it's like they're cute, but it's like it's not it's just not the same as having actual thick flannel, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Oh, it's got like a. There we go. Well, my goodness. <laughs> That's okay. Welcome, Blueberry Muffin 42. No worries. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, what time is it for everyone? Like, I don't know. I don't know what you guys have to drop doing. Whether it's like you're in the middle of your day or the night. Like some of you. Like how how late is it where you guys are right now? Isn't that a hobo symbol right there? Is it? Let me see the strategy guide. What are you looking? The two bars. <gasps> yes. Yeah, it is. It's a symbol for... Oh my goodness! The sky's the limit! Hey! Well, that's really cool. You wanna pick one? I like that. Pick a winner? Sure. Just cause. cause First winner of the day. Cause why not? Alright. Eh, I'm terrible. <laughs> I hit it too hard. Oh no, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Ended up working out well. Only if they're here, I hit though. it too hard. Oh! oh. Well, that's all good. Wait, why is there this? Oh, that's right. That's the whole one right there. All right. Oh, terrible. Ah, oh, no. It's like so close. I don't like this little hill. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, so close. Was it? Oh. Yeah. That was really close. But that's okay because now. No. Oh. <laughs> Bad habit. But at least now you know. Now we know. All right. So let's see. I'm trying to think. What? Are the same color? Oh, okay. Well, green. that was a bug. <laughs> <laughs> it turned green. Maybe it's like one of those chemical reaction things where when it comes into contact with different temperature, then it will do that. So see, I'm trying to see. What is this? Is this thing? No rush. All right, guys. Let's get better at it. You have one? Uh, yes. All right. We have a we random, have a random winner, to winner to select right now. Because we need to. Yes, and you guys are th the winner of this selection. Well, of all the selections and stuff today. Yeah. To win an 88th anniversary mug. So who is a drum roll, please? Drum roll. We have a random selected winner just because. It is Mystery Cat 2003. Mystery Cat 2003. Are you he are you here, Mystery Cat 23? Are you? 2003. I thought I saw yet. someone similar to that. Mystery Cat. 2003. Yes. You are the winner, so congratulations. Uh, are I you mean, here? I haven't really been paying attention. If they're here. That's okay. I know I saw you, because that's how we picked you. But we'll, <laughs> we'll message out to you if, if, if we don't hear from you. But we will need your mailing address and your name in a private whisper to yes. us. Oh, there you are. Yay! Where? So yes, congratulations. Yes, right so. Mystery Cat 2003. Congratulations. Yes. Stand by, you guys, for more winners mm -hmm. coming up soon. <laughs> Yay! So, woot! See if I can get this one right this time. That's that's at least oh. a good start, though. Mm -hmm. 
I know, it's like... I can't even see. Hey! No, but that's good, though. That's good. Oh, oh. no. I know. Those those corners are just the most dangerous. Because, like, right there, if you, yeah. if you hit it just on the corner... If you hit a corner straight on, it bounces right back to you. Which is... Oh, you got the bridge bar. Um, so yes, yeah, Mr. Cat, please, yeah, go ahead and whisper to us now at any point during the stream is totally fine. We just need your name and mailing address, and then we can send you your prize. Yes. So. Well, wait. actually, I've never put it in the holes for around here. I want to see what happens if I put them in these holes. All right. Oh, oh that's right. We haven't, have we done this one before? Yes, Oh, we yes, have. we have. Oh, well, that works. Perfect. Right. Oh dear. I did it. Do a little one. Ugh. <laughs> that's terrible. Huzzah! Hey, that was good. Now that was me pretending to play regular golf. <laughs> have you ever actually had to stay like four? Have you ever been on one of those golf courses that are big enough to do that? No, I haven't. Ugh. I've only played miniature golf, but that would be scary if I <laughs> had to yell that. I don't. Or. <laughs> or if you're in... I'm breaking the windmill! <laughs> <laughs> or the tree, or the pond, or whatever. Mamuli. No, I've got all the streams for the rest of this year on a schedule for the remainder of the games. Yes. So I know exactly which one we're going to be playing each month. Oh, come on! Ooh, Ooh Nancy Drew Rocks! Your cousin loves golf. This would be an excellent game to show them because not only do they get to play golf, but they get to use it as a means of solving a mystery! So, ooh, ooh, that's a pretty color. I like that one. I wonder if Nancy says, like, like do we get an Easter egg for this? Mm, I, don't so. I don't think there are Easter eggs. I think it's your turn to play miniature golf, though. Just one more round. All right. Fair but enough. no pressure. You have to win this one. <laughs> True. <laughs> because if well, not... We, we might... How much money do we have left? Uh, okay, well, about, we got yeah. four more chances to... You can you can fail three times. Okay. So wait, do I have a score card? Yeah, we do. Yes. So we can we can fail three times, but I will try not to. All right. De -de 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 -de. The hint for next um, the next game stream is um, Ow. takes place maybe in the spring, spring or summer. Yes. There we go. All right, All right. Here is the moment of truth. Is this going to be a first time thing? Oh, 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 yay! That's pretty good. Okay. I mean, if you guys can remember which games we've already played, you know, good for you. Yay! Yay! I've never done that good on that hole before. <laughs> Whole lot of lava. <laughs> I like it. Oh, no. In the sand. No! I hit it too hard. I hit it too hard. But it still gets <laughs> in the hole, so. I know. <laughs> I wonder what the best possible score that you could get for this would be. Like, is it possible to do a hole in one in all these? I don't think it is. Hmm. Oh, rats. Do you guys have any extra hints or tips or tricks <laughs> for playing? <laughs> Nicely done. For playing these miniature golf levels, <laughs> is there something that we should know? I'm, I thought I was using all of the tricks I <laughs> knew. I still have terrible skill. But that's okay. No! This is... I think we're just gonna stay here for a while, everyone. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shizuka Fire. I don't think she's gonna come back this summer. I think she's actually going for a Disney internship. Oh, are you talking about Indy? Yep. Yep. And I really hope that she gets it because she's very deserving. That would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Plus, just how fun would that be? Right? To just intern with Disney, no big deal. Mm-hmm. If nothing else, it probably looks great on a resume. No! Come back here. There we go. Oh, your cursor? It, it always looked like a hand, like this, to me. Yeah? It always looked like that. I could never figure out what it was actually was until just now. It's actually... So, this, this... Oh, goodness. So this this thumb oh, yeah. that I thought was a thumb mm -hmm. is actually the stick that comes out way way like way further. So it's like that's that's the rod and 
This is the, what do you call, I'm wondering if they're golf terms, you guys. The, like, the golf club or the, something? That's the handle. Oh, you're it's, talking it's about the, this cursor? Yeah. Oh. It's a handle, and this is the, 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 the hitting thing. <laughs> <laughs> the base of a putter. The putter, thank you. <laughs> Although I like the hitting thing, though. I think that's... <laughs> I'm so knowledgeable in the subject. Clear, yes. Well, it's all right. Congratulations, so Rose Holler, for hello for you getting your driver's permit I today. Hit it too hard. Ooh, that's exciting. It's a putter. Thank you. The head butter. It's um, ah. I think Orlando. I think that's what she's going for. What? Whoa! Look at that. Really? You're like right there. Darn. It's oh, always no. Oh, I'm sorry. You did the <laughs> if to begin. Okay. Right. A plus for me knowing golf terms. Cards. Oh, you have to discard Looks it when like you're I'm supposed to put my scorecard in here when I'm done. I knew. There we go. All right, oh, um, Nancy's Francie's, when you're going to Disneyland, get ready to have your phone, like a phone battery pack on the side. Yes. Because, um, keep an eye out for every instance of what you can interpret to be Mickey Mouse ears. Ooh. It's like a scavenger hunt throughout the park. You know, in like, um, in the bushes, in the stenciling design on the walls. If you just keep looking, you'll find up. they're upside down. There's some hidden ones inside some of the rides. That's really Should cool. make it like a bingo game or something for you. I didn't even think about that. I love how creative they are with the design of the whole experience. Yeah. So my sisters and I, our favorite thing to do at Disneyland was actually... Was actually to go all to the coin flattening machines and flatten the pennies into the different shapes of whatever land we were in. Yeah. We had a collection of those flattened pennies. So fun. That's awesome. I need to punch holes in them and turn them into little charm pieces. That's a great idea. Actually, though, because, yeah, that would, I think that would be really fun. And then, like, every time you go back... If you wanted to smash more pennies, you could add to it and be like, this mm -hmm. was the year that, you know. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, the penny souvenirs. That's my favorite. Also, I think... I got a hole in one! <gasps> what? How did that happen? Where did you get... Oh, um... Since how? Oh, I don't know! <laughs> That's the airplane one. <laughs> that was really cool! Wow. I think it just, like... Yeah, because it, it, like, it hit magically there, and, like... Wow. Okay. Considering that last time I got like ten, I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. That was that was magical. <laughs> oh my gosh! Rollmeister <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> hey. I like that a lot, cause they cause they make nails, you know. I never actually got to see the see the Main Street Electrical Parade. I heard a lot of great things about it. Oh, isn't it up like updated or something? I don't know. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. This is like quite a quite a change from the last round, and this is not intentional, by the way, everyone. This is pure. Just I happen to hit this like just right. The sky's the limit. Hey. It's kind of annoying that your cursor cannot stretch out of screen. I know. Uh, no. I hit it too hard. Oh, quit complaining, Nancy. It always works out. <laughs> I know. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's okay. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. At this point, it's, it's over that There we go. Wow. Well, that was magical. Voila! Turn it in for the last pony! <laughs> das ponies! <laughs> it's all das ponies. Yes! Oh! It's the sick horse! It's oh. the frog it's print oh. horse. It's multicolored. Multicolored. You got all the horses. Well, that's cool. Oh my goodness. Can we do anything with that? No. We could have given them to all the orphans, but we chose to buy. To put my scorecard in here when I'm done. That's actually, I wonder what would happen if you did that. Yeah. Also, wait, do we see It has the one? measles, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the measles horse. <laughs> measles pony. Um, what were we doing next? Um, oh, safety deposit box key. Yes! To the bank. To the bank. To the bank. Do, 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 do. You've gotta go talk oh. to Emily. 
She's in a bad Turn way. Oh, sure. Yeah, no worries. She's in a bad way. A bad way? Oh. What do you mean? What's happened? Please, go talk to her. She won't listen to me. I'm no help at all. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I mean, you are standing at your podium very nicely, so, I mean, how bad could you be? I mean, sure, maybe you blew up the oven, and, you know, maybe you're not the greatest caretaker, but you're trying. There's no more pies. That's what's meant to be upset all about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just go back to River Heights, Whoa. Nancy. That's a little harsh. Why? What's the matter? I took a nap after I got back from running errands, and when I woke up, this was in my hand. It's one of the necklaces that I thought had been stolen. I have no idea how it got there. I must do things and not remember. All this responsibility on top of losing mom. I can't cope with it. I'm having a, what Jean call it, a nervous breakdown. Oh. No, you're not. I don't want to talk anymore. Go home. You're just making things worse. Well. Wow. Well, that's a little harsh, don't you think? You don't need to look at everything in there, do you? Sorry. Yes, we do. Sorry. <laughs> we absolutely do. Alright. We do. 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 We <laughs> Did she even leave the in, in her pajamas? You know, it definitely, it I mean, looks like pajamas. Yeah. But it looks very comfortable, though. So at least there's that. I give her the horses, the ponies. Maybe she'll be <laughs> happy. Perfect. I mean, that one has the pretty measles, so. Mm -hmm. How I thought of you with this measle horse. <laughs> this and said it looked about as sad as you do. Mm -hmm. No, actually, if anything, it looks happy. It's just like, I got the measles, but I don't care because I'm gorgeous. <laughs> right. Hello again. Hi. I found another safe deposit box key that belonged to Josiah. <gasps> Impossible. <laughs> Josiah only had one box, and you've already opened it. Can you tell me whose key this is? Oh, Josiah. It is one of ours. Where did you get it? I won it playing golf at Josiah's with a special ball. I had to ace one of the holes. Why does that sound familiar? I know why. That's what Clara always called me, her ace in the hole. That's who this key belongs to, Clara Pickford. Cool. Before we do anything else, you guys, we're going to stop for intermission because there's very little left in the game. Mm -hmm. Things are about to happen, and we have a trivia question for you guys. Yes. Before we take a five-minute break, this is your chance to answer with your knowledge <laughs> from all your paying attention. <laughs> With all of your vast superior <laughs> understanding. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right, you guys ready for um, a trivia question? Yes. Would you like to read it? I'd love to read it. Okay. Cool. On the board game we played, what was the value of the butterfly? The butterfly was worth how many moves? on the game board that we played at the very beginning of today's stream. Can you remember? You got one chance to answer, and we're going to take a five-minute break during intermission. When we get back, uh, we'll pick a winner out of all the correct answers. Mm -hmm. wow. Z Butterfly. All right. Intermission cool. it is. Perfect. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> we're just, you know, we're just watching you guys. <laughs> Bye. 
Anyone have a fave t-shirt design? I'm wearing lounging pants right now, lol. I love these Twitch streams. Everyone gets a Nancy Drew, my Nancy Drew jokes. I speak German. Good, Morgan. What are the other ways to win? Those sound comfy, too. I'm all about comfort clothing. Toss up between the checklist and black hat design. Random names are called. I'm going to make jello. <laughs> I wonder if LJ and Tess will read the chats again. Woot woot. Yes, I've never felt so a part of a group before, lol. Yes, that I did know, but I only know those kind of simple things. Those kinds of simple things. I hope. I have a Pacific Run shirt and a Straight Out River Heights shirt. I hope so. Haha, <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. And he said anyone else noticing his sound is off. <laughs> I'm back with cookies! I got the Diamond Thief one, trying to get one from every game. It's on for me. Yes! I'm watching this while at work. Hey! Here they go! Never mind, I figured it out. Lol. <laughs> they have a National Pretzel Day? What? Lol. No. They're, where are my mud buddies? Oh no. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on getting on a, getting a hoodie. They're at it again, lol. Big seven blowouts! Lol. That was hilarious. Of course. You got all the lols. I know. <laughs> I had it on pause and I didn't realize it. Hoodie, I mean. Haha, <laughs> yes. Woot woot! I can't read that! Max, kick up the arms because it's the 3D. I don't know. It's happening again. Hey everyone, finally home to join a stream. Ooh, I hate pretzels. I'm going to eat a Southwest chicken salad. I love the Coco Kringle shirts. Lol. Oh no, not again. <laughs> I love you guys, LJ and Tess, lol. LJ and Tess were awesome. This is fun! Love the Coco Kringle shirt. You two are so hilarious, lol. They need to do this every stream from now on. Woot! I'm like, I'm not saying I'm Nancy Drew, and it's locked. You two are so much fun. Anyone else in the Twitch party on an iPad? Butterfly boots! <laughs> <laughs> Blast off! What's wrong with pretzels? I have to go to work in ten minutes. No! Really excited to get some Nancy Drew t-shirts for, for my birthday. Any Coco Kringle bars in the near future? Ha <laughs> ha. What's cooking? Not in your oven. I <laughs> guess you don't know Russian. <laughs> Yo, hold on! <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, seriously, we should get back into I back into it. doing doing <laughs> real things, you know. Uh, we have really enjoy reading your guys' chat feed. It is really fun. Just because there's just no, there's it's all non sequitur stuff, which yeah. is great. There's like a million conversations going at once, but when you read them all in the sequential order, it doesn't make <laughs> much sense. I know. It's like it's like being in a classroom, a bunch, like when you're in class mm -hmm. and everyone's talking to each other at the same time. Mm hmm. Yeah. You catch, like, snippets of the good. Yeah. I feel you. I know, that phrase will never get old. <laughs> we had, just for fun, we had, in the back of the strategy guide, we have this really cool section called On the Up and Up. Mm -hmm. It's about the 1930s and 1920s uh, slang from the po Prohibition era mm -hmm. that uh, carried over from the Jazz Age. And we we're, we're starting off with, um, let's do this one. That, that one. And then we'll switch back and forth. But you got to do the Jaikowski voice. <laughs> Miss Jaikowski. Okay. Can do. Uh, cast a kitten. To have a fit. Much like people have a cow today. <laughs> <laughs> cast a kitten. Even then, I, I don't hear many people saying, oh, I've had a cow, or they yeah. have a cow, or something. But yeah. The cat's meow, the greatest person or thing. Also known as the cat's pajamas. Dolled up, dressed up. <laughs> don't take any wooden nickels. Don't do anything foolish. During the Great Depression, some small town banks issued wooden currency because they didn't have enough real cash available. 
This wooden chain usually had an expiration date and couldn't be spent outside the town, so keeping or carrying wooden nickels around wasn't a practical way to save money. I didn't know that was a thing. Me neither. Double cross. To cheat or betray someone. Draw you up. Be quiet or go away. Dumb Dora. An idiot or a dumb person. A term often associated with women, but not always. Hinky. Something wrong or way out of whack. Possibly suspicious. Hypers. <laughs> an expression similar to yikes. This is also one of George Bain's favorite statements in the earliest Nancy Drew titles. Oh. Keen. Appealing. Moxie. <laughs> Skillful or spirited. Moxie was also the name of the first mass-produced soft drink in America. Mm. A formula originally concocted around 1864 and sold as a cure-all medication. Moxie soft drinks were favored by President Calvin Coolidge, America's mm. 30th president, president who served from 1923 to 1929. Now you're on the trolley. Now you've got it. Now you're right. <laughs> Sam Spade, <laughs> a private detective and protagonist for Samuel... Dashiell Hammett's popular mystery articles and books, including the 1930 novel The Maltese Falcon. Oh. The movie adaptation didn't flicker across movie theater screens until 1941. So there you go. There's some more trivia, some more words. If you want to use them, you can use them. If not, you know, it's understandable. Wow. <laughs> Thank you guys for... <laughs> that was fabulous. Oh my There's gosh. just fun, fun facts, but I also have a few um, mm -hmm. reference photos that I found in our art archives that we used to reference for, for the yes. 1930s art and design. And some of these were actually used in the game. We just touched them up a little bit, so let's take a look. What have we here? So what we have here is a is a, an operator's call center, you know, with, where Miss Joukowsky would work. <laughs> it's an actual photo of the girls working. It's pretty crazy. Actually, have you seen, you've seen The Crown, right? Like two episodes. Okay. Well, yeah. there's there's one point. It's not. It doesn't give anything away. But it shows them how they would they cook up the wires yeah. and they train to them from thing to thing. It's like whoa, oh, cool. That's crazy. Let me get my mask out of the way. Anyway. Uh wow, isn't this a fascinating door? This was the door that we inspired uh, to make a Josiah or not Josiah, uh, Richard Topham's door. You'll notice that it has a handle and that it opens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, this is the box that was modeled, remodeled. Um, for Jane's jewelry box. Mm -hmm. Looks very similar. This Ooh. is a, one of the angles as a reference shot for Nancy's car. This is actually a Ford on the back side. And here is a front of it. It's a, this is a little toy model right here. A Model A, Ford Model A Deluxe Roadster from 1931. Which is really cool. Ford Model A Deluxe Roadster, 1931. I need to go wow. find this in those collectible shops and actually, you know, keep it on my desk or something because Dancy's car is so cool. That would be a great idea. I love seeing, like, those people that, that like, will take him to old car shows, you know? Yeah. It's just like, whoa, yeah. it's so... Uh, this is what um, Zippy might have looked like <laughs> as a gas station attendant. Welcome to Zippy's! <laughs> where Zippless service is zipply zapped and Zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. I love the way that you winded up that too. It was like, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> you have to say it with like your your whole torso. Yes. You have to be really excited about giving your gas for your car. Uh, I like to imagine that he said that to literally every person that came by the, the gas yes. station. Welcome to Zippy. Welcome to Zippy. <laughs> uh, one of the many shots that was uh, referenced for Richard Topham's interior. Mm. Yeah, so it's supposed to be really dark, really woodsy, mm -hmm. really warm. Um, a little retro. I feel like if you were to add like a big pluff, like pluff, plush, Flush. fluffy, yeah. like a chair or something by that fireplace, you could like read a story. Like, and now it's time for Poetry Corner right. with Richard Topham. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. And then this is actually a before and after shot. Um, the below shot right here is the original picture of a gas station. And this is the uh, version that was in the game. We just added the Z to make it zippies. Yeah. I think that's all that we did, and we cropped out, you know, this whole section, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's just an actual photo. That's cool. Cool, an old rotary payphone. Keen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, an actual radiometer uh, bulb. Like, those are real things. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Woo. All right. Uh, as for the trivia question, you guys, we got a, a winner to announce. Yes, we do. We did pick one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, this... This one actually threw us off a little bit. We, everyone was answering a certain answer, and I don't remember that being the actual answer. So I went back and I looked through the art, and 
Nope, a lot of people actually got it wrong. Yeah, it's one of the first times that's happened too. It's usually, yeah. it's, and you guys are usually pretty spot on. I thought it was uh, the strategy guide being wrong as well, because there are a few typos in here that didn't really work. So it, it was possible this was wrong though too. Mm -hmm. But I went through the art files and the animation and my answer still stands. So the trivia question was, on the board game we played, what was the value of the butterfly? And the butterfly was actually worth and I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I looked through the art. It was actually worth nine. So a lot of people saying ten. A lot of people were saying ten. So, which was close, but it was pretty pretty close because it was right next to the moon, which I think the moon was worth ten. Mm. Yeah. So, out of all the correct answers that we did see, we do have a winner. So, yes. drum roll for the trivia question winner. <laughs> Kiona. K I Y U N A H. Kiyuna. Congratulations. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but congratulations, Kiyuna. <laughs> you are our lucky random winner for the trivia question. Yay. You get an anniversary mug that is shown in the slideshow, and what we need from you is your name and your mailing address in a private whisper to us. Yes. And we will send that out to you. Kiyuna, welcome, or congrats. <laughs> and, <laughs> and welcome. welcome. <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> um, how many more do we have to give away? Two? We, yes, two okay. more. So we have two more random winners to give out some mugs. Great. So go ahead and uh, start picking one later, but uh, let me know when you're ready to announce that, because we're going to go and finish our game now. Who's right. ready to go? Wonderful. I want to say ghost hunt, but that's not what we're doing. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't fit in with the beat, but that's okay. No, not quite. For that rhythm thing. But oh well. <laughs> so yeah, so congrats. Congratulations. <laughs> Alrighty, righty Back to the swell music. So, Clara Pickford was really Josiah Crowley in disguise. What? Apparently, he loved playing <laughs> tricks like that on people and hiding things right under their noses. Hmm. How would he have gotten that, like, away with that, though? <gasps> Josiah Crowley. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> The last will and testament of Josiah M. Crowley. What does the M stand for? Do we know? Mr. Mr. I don't know. <laughs> does it say ever? I can't open it. Come on. Oh. I wonder what this is. Gloria Dowd, now Crandall, and Jane Willoughby, circa 1912. Jane Willoughby? That doesn't look the least bit like Jane Willoughby. No, it certainly doesn't. I better get back to the Lilac Inn and have a talk with her right now. Oh, okay. All right. Hi! Move out of the way, would you please? I'm kind of in a hurry. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who you really are. What are you talking about? I just saw a picture of Jane Willoughby. The real <laughs> Jane Willoughby. <laughs> it's been swell knowing you, sister. <sighs> dun dun dun! Oh no! I oh, can't boy. let Jane out of my sight. Yeah, that's really fast to get away here. <laughs> I know, she's like, we'll get out of here soon. <laughs> Stop! Thief! You Where's, come back here! Where's the cow standing in the road when you need him? <laughs> oh, Aww. I'm not supposed to lose her. <gasps> Ninth planet discovered named Pluto. <gasps> oh, That hurts! <laughs> that hurts! I think we will always take it personally. I know. That Pluto is no longer... I can't let Jane out of my sight. We won't. Oh, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you do the honking because it's very <laughs> distracting. I need to focus all my hands on this, on this, on the mouse. I can't let Jane out of my sight. <laughs> Drive like the wind, Nancy Drew. <laughs> this is too much fun. <laughs> Aruga. My Ford Model T is a lot better. You come Model back here. Deluxe. Wow, you, what's with you and slowing down and going in circles? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get stuck. Whoa. You just went in circles! What the <laughs> She's like, maybe I can lose her if I go the same way. This would be the most hilarious car chase to watch, I feel like. Uh -huh. Because they can't. She's coming by the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and head her off. She was? She looked like she was going the complete opposite direction. Whoa. Yes! Perfect timing for that music, too. I know! <laughs> 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 
No! Oh, what no. a tragedy! Get over. Why couldn't you just mind your own business? Well, Look at all this wonderful dear pie. Ned, <laughs> I know you'll be home from school in a couple of days, but I couldn't wait to tell you. I just solved a mystery. I figured out that Emily Crandall's guardian was really an imposter named Marion, who intercepted the letter Emily wrote to Jane Willoughby after her mom died. Oh, Marion. She pretended to be Jane not only so she could steal Emily's valuables, but so she could convince Emily that she was incapable of running Lilac Inn and that she should sell it and split the money with her. On top of all that, I found Josiah Crowley's real will. Yeah. In it, he left Emily so much money that she'll be able to hire all the people she needs to keep the inn going. He left Jim Archer a ton of money too, which means he won't have to close his bank. Yay. And from now on, he'll be able to buy his wife a new dress anytime he wants. As for mm. Richard Topham, uh -oh. Josiah left him nothing. Although Topham still refuses to admit that he forged the first will and <gasps> insists that he's going to contest the will I found, Dad says it's highly doubtful he'll succeed and that he'd be better off sticking to spoon tricks. <laughs> anyway, when you get home, I'll give you all the details over a nice big piece of slightly damaged cherry pie. <laughs> Wait until you hear that part of the story. <laughs> As always, Nancy. That was so sad. All that pie goes cherry. to waste. Well, Nancy got to eat some of it, so... True. Here's that. Hey, sassy detective, congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of... <gasps> Smart Cookie! Wow! You're successfully solving the case. Aww. And that's all. Oh, I think we Great deserve more. news, I think. See, <laughs> Frank and Joe Hardy have invited me to help them solve a that mystery. That is good news. Uh -huh. Only this mystery takes place on a train. But not just any train. A train that was found abandoned years ago in the middle of nowhere. All of its passengers had simply vanished. Some people say the train is jinxed. Others say it's haunted. I mean, it'll be fun to finally get to work alongside the mm -hmm. Hardy boys. But I just hope the trip we're going on doesn't turn out to be, you know, one way. You know, if you're that concerned about it, at that point I'd be like, maybe we should hold off on this country. I don't know. Ooh. And guest. <laughs> Join Miss Lori Gerard for a journey across Hurley's, aboard Hurley's, that's the name of the train? Hurley's oh Comet? God. Hurley's Comet, I love that train. Because there are lots of mysteries to solve. There's boys on the train, too. And yeah, they're boys, and they're really cute. And one of them is obsessed with cheeseburgers. And I don't entirely understand it, because they're really unhealthy. But if you like cheeseburgers, and if you like boys, and mysteries, and trains that may kill you, this next adventure is the best possible adventure to go on. So join them next time in the, in the 13th game in this series. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, you're a little bit winded now. Huh? A little bit. Oh. oh my gosh. It's like He's actually low. trying to talk like that, like like you get lightheaded from doing that. Oh my goodness. Whew. Anyway. Anyways, Yay! let's go ahead and play a little bit of music while we finish out. Good call. Got a few things to do first. <laughs> Keep that a little bit on the low. Uh, okay. You guys, this game... Secret Old Clock is on sale through Sunday for 50% off, for those of you who don't know. Uh, <laughs> the digital download in English or in French. So if you've played the game in English, you should try playing it in French. That would be fun to hear the slang. <laughs> <laughs> slang in French. King. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I, yeah, I bet I my really, bloomers. Do you think French, they probably oh had like, like actual French slang from the 20s? Do you think they I don't know. <gasps> I actually haven't played the French version of Secret Little Clock. I played the French version of Train, Lost Street of Blue and Canyon. A little bit of Warnings at Waverly, but not Secret Little Clock. Ooh. But yeah, um, use the promo code Twitch. Oh no, sorry, it's not Twitch this time. <laughs> this time it's Nancy88A. So. A. Ooh, Harper's Thurman, your boyfriend is French, so then he would love this game in French. Yes! So, I mean, when you use that promo code, Nancy88A, um, it pretty much brings the price down to five dollars. Yes, which I think is a great uh, gift to give to someone mm -hmm. for this weekend. Yeah, especially if they're new to just Nancy Drew in general, like books or games. I think it's a fun way to kind of bring them in. Yeah, and this is a pretty chill, relaxing Nancy Drew mystery. It's yes. nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. It's nothing scary. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just easy going. Yeah, yeah. lighthearted fun. Yeah. So. It's a good first gift. It's also 
really good first mystery for young players too. Yeah. I think the driving around is pretty fun. Earning money is mm -hmm. really fun. Playing uh, golf. Playing the golf. <laughs> yeah. Earning the ponies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it, I think it's a great one. So yeah, be sure to uh, get that or gift it to someone who needs some Nancy Drew in their life. Yeah. Well, I mean, who doesn't need Nancy Drew in their <laughs> life? But, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. We also have two more we random do? winners. We got them? We do. Yay! Two lucky random winners <laughs> just because we're showing up today. Yes. Drum roll for y'all, please. <laughs> winners of the final two mugs are... Memuli and Dance Topia. So. Memuli. I don't know how oh, you yeah. pronounce it. That's probably, it sounds better to say it like that. Memuli. Like an Italian. Spamore. Memuli. <laughs> and what was the other one? And Dance Topia. Dance Topia. Woo! Congratulations, Dance Topia and Memuli. <laughs> you get the new mugs. You get the mugs. So what you, we, we need from you guys is to private whisper to us. Yes. Looks like Keone did. It's great. Um, and you need, you need yeah, private mis private whisper us <laughs> your name and your mailing address so that we can send it to you. Yes. Yes. <gasps> we have uh, another game to announce for yes. next month. Um, we don't have the dates set for it, but for the month of May, we will be streaming Nancy Drew Danger by Design. Oh, yay! Yes. I like that one a lot. Yes. Danger by Design is the next one for mm -hmm. May. It's really fun. You guys should look up the trailer and stuff for it, so. Yes. Anywho. You sound like Super Mario. That's fantastic. <laughs> Y'all, is that <laughs> all that we're thinking about? Is that all that mm. we got? We got the mugs, we got the sale, we got the game, we got the stuff, we got the art. <laughs> we happen to have a revised, not a revised, um, a reprint. Mm. <clears throat> a 1991 reprint of the original really cool. Nancy Drew book, Secretly Old Clock. So we've got the story, but it's not the original edition, but it's the original story. So yes. I thought that was pretty cool. So I think it's 1991. Oh. From the 1930s. That's so crazy. cool. I love how, I love how the, like, books just transcend time like that. You know, it's like it's a gift from someone of the past to someone of the future. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. It's a totally different universe. Mm -hmm. I like that inside the front here there's always like a little summary it says nancy drew's keen mind <laughs> is tested when she searches for a missing will yes. so keen so hypers keen. that sounds like an exciting story oh, oh there's pictures <gasps> as she flashed her light about she saw that she had made no mistake <sighs> dun 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 Oh, uh, let's see if I can get this. <laughs> she's look. So what's happening here in the picture is Nancy's got her flashlight and she's looking to the back of a moving truck with a whole bunch of stuff in it. I think she's looking for that clock. Ooh. Yeah. Does anybody else have um, copies of the original books, like the blue, uh, these blue editions? And then there were Ooh. some brown editions actually too. Cool. That had yeah, like brown spine. Ooh. And they had um, slip covers as well. Cool. So you could correct, like, you could collect like yellow, brown, and blue. Have like a yellow nice color coded system. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But then there was also a um, a book club edition for like eleven, eight, or or eleven of them. So like back in the day, it was grocery stores, <coughs> grocery stores or gas stations. I don't remember, or both. Uh, they would, every time they made a purchase or something, we'd be collecting little stamps. And if you got X amount of stamps, you would get to turn it in for the special item. And they did a series of the Nancy Drew books, but they were done, they were called the cameo editions. Oh. Because the art on the covers were different. Totally different. And so those are considered collectibles to be Nancy Drew fans, because that was the only way you could get those versions. It's by was <laughs> Was going through that, that process. That's cool. Yeah. So the cameo editions. I've got... One of the books, but the slipcover art is a fake. Oh, yeah. that's a shame. It's always yeah. way to find that kind of stuff out. Just right. Uh, this video will be up on YouTube shortly, you guys. Yes. I don't think we've got anything else to announce, but thank you guys so much for showing up in the yes. chat. Great to hang out with you guys and join in the community. Um, so excited to be giving away all these cool mugs. I awesome know. Too. Looking so. forward to next month's stream. Join us as we announce the dates later in the future. Yeah. Next month. Until next time, we know what our.
catchphrases. Uh huh. Same. I don't, don't take, take any with nickels. nickels. Oh, why are you tiny? Well. <laughs> Welcome to Zippy's! Welcome to Zippy's, <laughs> where Zipless service is zipply zapped, and Zippy, zippy service, service is the zippiest. Fill her up. 